The aircraft is such a wonderful machine for carrying us from place to place. It also allows us to enjoy the view of the city from above the sky while saving us valuable time. You surely have wondered at some point how these aeroplanes are constructed and what the underlying science is. Therefore we will cover that in the video. Making an aircraft requires a lot of science and engineering, thus it is not a simple task. For the first time, the Wright brothers took to the skies. It made its maiden flight over Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, on December 17, 1903, with Orville in charge of the controls. Later, aviation technology advanced more and more. There are several companies that manufacture aircraft today, and they differ based on the needs of the clients. One of the most cutting-edge aeroplanes currently in production, the Airbus A350, will be covered in this video. This wide-body aircraft can be used for longer journeys and has a carrying capacity of more than 350 passengers. This plane has a 19-hour flight range. A lot of engineering is needed to produce such aeroplanes, and Airbus conducts all of the work in various parts of Europe. In the initial stage company analyses market demands to develop the aircraft. A team of engineers will construct the aircraft and subject it to rigorous testing. Three aeroplanes will be produced initially, and they will be put through rigorous testing. Spare Parts Logistics Beluga is an unusual cargo plane designed by Airbus that resembles a fish, and transports all the necessary components to the assembly site a few parts, such as engines and other heavy objects, have also shipped via water and on roads. Manufacturing relies heavily on logistics to keep production moving along and complete tasks on schedule. Fuselage it is one of the primary sections of the aeroplane and houses all of its parts, including the area where passengers are transported. Final assembly lines, FALs, for Airbus is located in Toulouse, France. Where everything comes together and combines is at this point. Airlines can operate more efficiently, and with fewer carbon emissions thanks to the A350's 53% composite material content. The fuselage is often divided into three main segments, the front, the rear, and the middle, where it is connected together with the aid of the rivets, which firmly hold this component. As you can see in this video, the fuselage of the aircraft comes together and becomes its shape. Wings Even if the engine fails, the wings are still the second most crucial component of the aeroplane since they aid in gliding and landing. This is a very important component, and Airbus tests many levels of wing construction before selecting the best and strongest one to use in the aeroplane. Wings support the left and right engines, as well as the gasoline inside. With the aid of flaps, they also assist in lifting the aircraft off the ground. Empennage or tail assembly. The vertical tail of the aircraft aids in keeping it going forward in a single direction and it also aids in turning the aircraft in any direction. The most important part of this aircraft is its wings and tail, without which it cannot be controlled. This section is operated by a fly-by-wire system that responds to commands from the captain. Engine The engine, which generates the compressed thrust that propels the aeroplane forward, is the main component that really generates the forward motion. Typically, the aircraft manufacturer will select the engine based on the size and capacity requirements. Before deciding whether an engine is safe for operation, it will undergo a variety of tests, including running in various weather conditions for a number of hours. Airbus constantly ensures that aeroplanes are kept safe and swift because engine parts endurance is one of the toughest problems. The Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engine, installed by Airbus in the A350, generates 431.5 kN of thrust.
Avionics The nervous system of an aircraft is made up of avionics and instruments, which give the cockpit constant updates on the status of the aircraft and its systems. Further cockpit developments are crucial because the cockpit serves as the primary control center for an aircraft. The majority of Airbus aeroplanes have a fly-by-wire technology, which uses electric actuators to control hydraulic controls to further reduce weight due to the its small size. The cockpit instruments receive data from all the instruments that collect information from various sensors and ground communication devices. Pilot makes the necessary decisions for flying after considering all the information. Painting The airlines chose the painting in accordance with their brand identity, theme colors, and logo choice. However, the majority of aircraft are often painted white. The entire painting process takes place in a closed room with high ceilings. In order to protect the aircraft body from heat, two layers will be painted on it, a base layer and a primary layer. Additionally, a designer will create the airline's logo and name, which will be carefully painted on the aircraft. Cabin Interior Design The primary airline signature style is found in the cabin interior. Long-haul flights typically use the A350, and in order to maximize passenger comfort, airlines luxuriously furnish the cabin and offer the nicest seats available. After the customer's choice is made, some vendors who work in tandem with the Airbus firm construct demo examples for the client. Interiors of the cabin seats will be created. Airlines often have two primary sections, a business class and a premium or economics class. Quality test. After completing all necessary steps, the aircraft will be checked for taxing, flying, many other functions before being handed over to the owner. Tell us in the comments what component of the aircraft you find most interesting. Isn't it remarkable how an aircraft is built? Thank you for watching, if you like it, please let others know.